Alrighty guys, welcome to the video. And in today's video, we are going to be exploring the island and trying to find new loot because we are running out of loot. If We're going to show you the new base that we built, which is obviously this one. But we did refurnish a new base that I didn't show you off camera and it is super cool. It is across the map and it looks amazing. I definitely want to grab some of these guys right here. Here we go. We need skulls and we need skeletons. And I will show you guys why. Look at the raccoon. Oh, dude, the raccoons are so cool. Alrighty, right here. We need bones. And apparently, this is supposed to um, keep certain mutants oh, like the cannibals it's supposed to keep cannibals away so this will be awesome i don't know if it's loud it seems kind of loud i watched a video of someone use it it looks kind of annoying so I don't oh my goodness dude she saved us for real that was scary thank goodness is there any more was he the only one that was scary i genuinely got scared I was not expecting him to just jump out like that. That was crazy. Alright, we're going to place a little fire here. Because we need a little area to burn these bodies. Because we need a lot of bones. And we need a lot of... We just need a lot of bones. Virginia saved us for real. That was crazy. I didn't even realize he was coming for us. We chopped down a lot of trees. Um, The upstairs looks amazing. If you guys didn't see... We added some carpet up here. It adds a little bit more, uh, just a little bit more, you know, I don't know. It just makes it feel a little bit better. We'll wait for that body to burn. We need some meds. I'll just take one of these. We'll pop these. There we go. Oh, there's a big cannibal right there. Do you guys see him over there? He's huge. Let's go check him out. Oh, and our front door's open. That's amazing. You see him over here? But that would... I think that would kill you. Oh, here he comes. Oh, he's chasing. He is chasing us now. Check him out. Oh, he's running now. Oh my goodness. Oh, Virginia's putting in the work. There we go. Yeah, I started hunting with this instead. It just does way more damage. Like, yeah, the suppressor and everything is awesome. Having a suppressed pistol, but this thing just hits like a champ. Look at that. Boom. What is he doing? breathing all weird put him over there with the bones so apparently like i was saying this uses sulfite and with the sulfite that you put in here it's supposed to keep cannibals away like i said i watched the video it looks kind of annoying though it's so loud for whatever reason i don't know why they made it so loud but um we'll try it out and see if we like it or not the only thing it doesn't keep away is mutants. I feel like I would want mutants to be, you know, not next to me. I'd rather have it penetrate mutants than cannibals. I mean, cannibals are easy to maintain. I think we need to add a place for bones. I think we could add some bone, some bone holders and stuff over here. Look at this. Virginia's bringing us sticks. Thank you. Like I said, I can't figure out why there's so many cannibals here. I don't know if it's just because, like, this little water source or what it is. There's no paths over here. There's no... There's not even cannibal bases around our house either. It's just this area. This area is insane. Look at Virginia being all nice, bringing us more and more stuff. Would you bring us some berries? What's wrong? Oh. Thank you. 
Let's put the bones over here. We definitely need to collect skulls. Because I always need skulls, man. I always need them. It's crazy. You always need them. Now, this other little base that I was telling you guys that I re... Like, re... What is it? Re-renovated. Yeah, I made it a lot better. This place is so cool. But it's... I didn't know this. I didn't know at the time when I was playing the game. But I built it on a path. And if you build on a path in this game... You're going to get tons of cannibals. There's always cannibals at that base. Like, always. There's never not cannibals at my base. There's always cannibals. Alright, I finished it off. This is the masterpiece. So, apparently... I'm not sure. It's supposed to keep cannibals away. But I heard it's loud. I think you have to have sulfite on it. Yeah, we got to put sulfite on it. But for whatever reason, it's loud. Which is like, whatever. You know, I don't really mind. We will... I will meet you guys at the little base. I really want to show you what the other base looks like. It's so cool. It is really cool. You know, we definitely need a base on the golf course. I think that would be awesome so we could play golf. Alrighty, guys. We're pulling up on the base. It is right here. Look how cool this little base is. It's just awesome. It's literally... I don't know why I would build it right here on the path. That is kind of crazy. I, that's absurd. I don't know what I was thinking when I built this. You know what? I think it was snowing when I built this. But still, I should have known better to not build this right here. But this is a luxury little base we renovated here. I mean, it didn't have any of this. We uh just added the turtle shells. So we have water here. I don't know if the cannibals will come and get water from here. We have a bird's nest so we can get flowers. Now look at how cozy this little place is. It's awesome. It is awesome. We're going to get a little fire going here. So we are going to stay the night. And yeah, we got a fireplace. We got... Pretty much everything that you can need. This is like one of the coziest little bases that I have. It's awesome. I feel like we should get some water. I think that a cooking pot um, spawns over here. Which we should probably grab. It's just down the way. We're going to adventure this part of the island. For this video. We're going to just visit and chill and explore this area of the map which i haven't really explored so yeah it'll be cool i think there is another cooking pot here i might be wrong but i think there it is anything else here a rib cage that we can't use awesome awesome we'll grab one of those Let's uh, fill up this thing so we can make some actual fresh water for that base. But no, yeah, this is a cool little base that we have over here, which I never visit. I never visit, but this is an awesome base. So we're going to spend the night here and just chill. Alrighty, we're going to put our crock pot right here. Our cooking pot right here. There it is. We just need water. I'm going to fill these three up with water and then we will be good. Alrighty, this is the last one and we should be good. Let's put it right here. It looks like there's a cannibal base that I marked right next to us. Which um, we could definitely check out. Try to get some loot from them. 
and just see what they got going on. Which, is this a cannibal base I have marked or no? I don't know why it shows an X. I know for a fact I didn't mark this an X. There it is. And if you guys drop your shotgun or anything in that sort, a shotgun will always respawn right here on the map, which is awesome. It's next to the cave location, beach, and the empty beach. It's just in this area. This area is pretty cool. So, we're just going to venture and uh, see what we can find. Hopefully we can find some good stuff. Maybe just some loot or even some cannibal bases would be awesome. Oh guys, look at this. We found a little campsite. This is awesome. What do we got going on over here? All types of goodies. Grab those. And what else? Is there anything else over here? There's a bucket. And that looks like that's about it. Let's, uh, I'm definitely going to save right here. I wouldn't want to sleep in one of these tents, bro. You end up like this guy if you sleep in one of those. <laughs> that's for sure. Alrighty, let's see if we can find any other loot. That was actually pretty good. That was not bad. We need to find batteries. I want to start to, like, mark all of the stuff on the map. That'd be awesome. Like, we could mark all the little campsites like that. Just certain stuff would be amazing to have marked and just know where it's at on the map. You guys know what I mean. What is this? What did we just come across over here? Looks like a bunch of graves. We got bones. What else? Wood. Whatever that is. Some crosses. Anything down here? More rope. Oh, there's all types of stuff. That's awesome. We'll just grab all this stuff. Watches. Heads. More bones. More rope. Just good stuff. Oh, look at all the money. There's so much money here. That's cool. Alright, this splits into a lot of different ways. We can start making our way over here. We just came from over there? Maybe not. Maybe we didn't. Maybe we did. Did we come from over here? I don't think we did. Looks like it's a little dead end. Hearing a lot of activity. Whoa. He almost got us. Anything over here? Nope. Just looks like a nice little area. That's cool. And then we got this area which doesn't have anything i thought it would have something maybe i was wrong hmm okay it just leads you to like a little dead end that's cool take that cannibal out too i don't know why they eat each other oh they're cannibals that was a dumb question I forget sometimes just weird I mean, survival survival would be crazy out here, bro. No bows, no nothing. So are the... This is what I always thought. Are the dirty cannibals like the outcast cannibals? Like, they're like just dirty. Ain't nobody want them. So they're just outcast. Does that make sense? He scared me, bro. I thought that was a giant mutant. That was the scariest sound I've heard. There's just so much weird sounds, and then you know that it's getting crazy. This game is definitely awesome. You guys like survival games? Like, when you first start off and you really don't have anything, you don't have a base, you don't have nothing, this game gets kind of crazy, because you're just, like, trying to build a house for the first two days, get a little base situated, and you don't really know where to go. The caves are kind of confusing. 
you kind of got to watch your videos or you go to caves and some caves you can't enter because of certain things. This is a big base. Alrighty. Looks like there is a mutant. They're kind of scared of it. Look at them. Who do you think will win? The mutant or the... Definitely the cannibal. Yeah, these cannibals don't stand a chance. Alright, let's look around and see what kind of loot there is here. Anything? I'm not seeing anything. Nice little bag. That's awesome. We'll always take a little bag. Scared me. Um, Life jacket. Can't even pick up. Rope. There is a lot of rope. But I've noticed these are great because you can sit down and um, get your night up. So like your character will get tired. That's your little moon on the bottom right. And you need to sleep or else your character gets tired. But you can also sit down in these chairs and it will slowly go up. As you can see, it's almost full. And yeah, pretty much described it to you. And they're cool because like I said, you don't have to sleep, so you can stay up during the nighttime. Like, during the beginning days, you definitely want to stay up during the night. Because you want to get situated before, like, certain multiple days come. Because once multiple days come, then you're kind of, like, in trouble. Because more cannibals will come to your house. The cannibals get stronger. So you want to gain as much stuff as you can before it's too late. We're full on those... Anything in this area? Nothing. These are always cool. You can um, ride them. And you can travel pretty fast with them to be honest. Definitely useful. This is a cannibal base that we do not have located yet. And I don't have any um, batteries. So we can't even make this into our collection yet. But at least I know where it's at. The food bunker's over here. Which, the food bunker is really useful if you need certain stuff. Like, the crossbow spawns at the food bunker. So, if you need a crossbow and you don't have it, the food bunker. I don't know if you have to do certain stuff to unlock that location. Or if it automatically will pop up on your map. It's been a very long time since I've done that. So, yeah. I just wanted to get it familiar with this area. A little heads up, guys. If there's bushes like this, don't shoot your arrows. You will lose so many arrows just because of these bushes. I mean, like, the arrows are so small, you're not going to find them. I mean, you could even, you can make your own arrows. You can use the carbon fiber arrows, or you can use 3D printed arrows. Doesn't really matter. Just depends what you have. I don't know if they do more damage. I would believe they do more damage. This kind of just takes us to the beach over here. Normally there's cannibal bases at the beach. These, these... I didn't think I was close enough, but he still got us. Alrighty, there is some loot here. Cans. I don't really collect cans. Cans are the most annoying item in the game. I mean, they don't even really do anything. If anything, it might make you sick. Let's test the theory. If we eat cans, are we gonna get sick? This is literally cat food. I think... I don't know. It does not look good. Oh, cans are kind of useful, huh? Yeah, you don't even get sick from them. Maybe cans are kind of good. I normally don't like cans, but... I didn't really know they worked that well. It looks like right here, there's a little path. We'll see what this leads us. Ooh, cannibal base. Look at them. 
We'll have them fight the the mutants. I bet they die. I don't think they can fight the mutants. The mutants are strong. Oh, I fell. Got him. That was crazy. That was like a lunge attack. Chopped off its arm. Sorry. I know. I didn't want to really kill him, but we had no choice. Nice. Sorry. We had to do that. We had no choice. <laughs> we literally had no choice. There is a soda here. Looks like that's about it. Bones, some skulls. Soda. More skulls. Okay, it's not a bad cannibal base here. Kill these mutants that they got tied up. Definitely don't want those wandering around. If they get out. I don't even know if they can get out. Who knows. Alrighty, it's starting to turn nighttime. We gotta start making our way back home. But I wanna follow this path over here. Seems pretty interesting. Kinda goes around, but then wraps. Let me see. It looks like it wraps around back up to the house. So, we'll see if there's anything. Ooh, there's another cannibal base. I know you guys see this one. These cannibals over here are living good. They got ocean spot view and everything. Oh, it's just an outlook. It's not even a cannibal base. Just a little outlook area. That's cool. It's not too late. It's about the af little bit past the afternoon. I'd say like what? I don't even know. When does the sun go down in military time? Maybe like 21? So we got about like four hours daytime in the game before it is nighttime. Looks like if you guys need one of these, there is a spawn location right here, which is pretty cool. So it's just right up here. Follow your path and it will lead you to a hang glider, which these are so useful. Especially in the beginning because you need like you can't waste time in the beginning. I wasted a lot of time That's why I didn't even do the boss battle until I was like level 50 and so on so on Do we actually get him no way that was a hell of a shot That was a crazy shot Virginia looks like she came over to us, which is awesome. I don't really see her. There she is. That's so cool. I forget that she, uh, she'll come to you. So, like, if you're anywhere in the map, she'll come help you. So, this is definitely a good area to have her because there are so many cannibal bases. Is this another cannibal base? There are mutants here. Will they be mad or are they going to be nice? Definitely not nice. Even though we just helped them. I just wanted to see if they'd act different. But um, I don't think they will. They don't care. Which is whatever. Sorry. I don't think the cannibals like... That would be cool if they, like, did a thing where, like, sometimes they were nice and sometimes they weren't. That'd be really cool. Oh, yeah, so there's, what, like, four cannibal bases just in this area. So that kind of shows you where we built our house, which is not good. Whenever I see these open spots of land, I don't know if they're, like, if they want you to build here or... What they want you to do with this information. 
Whenever I'm in those open spots, bad stuff happens. Always. There's always mutants. There's always demons. And there's always cannibals. Always. Alrighty, I see the base over here. Thank goodness. What is this? This is awesome. Look at this. I didn't even know there was a little boat here. Well, that's funny. You can't see the sails on this side. But if you go to this side, you can. Well, that's cool. Alrighty, it's starting to become nighttime. We're going to start to kind of wind down a little bit. I think we should build a chair here. I wanted to see if we could put one maybe in the house. I don't really see an area for a chair, though. There is no room for a chair. I mean, maybe right here. There's a little room for a chair. Right here. Now that I'm looking at it. What about downstairs? Absolutely no room. You could almost put a chair right here. But I don't know. Because you come down. Yeah, that might block it. We could put a chair upstairs for sure. Now that I'm looking at it. I was going to put one down here. But I think we're going to move it upstairs. Yeah, right here is not bad. I just didn't want to over cluster the area if that makes sense. Thank goodness we have bones here. Alrighty, I think this is a great position. Even if we don't like it, we can always move it. Yeah, this is a cool little bone location. Maybe we could even build it like this. Which you might say, like, why would you put it there? But you know what? You can almost scoot it back a little bit. Like right there. You come up here and you can kind of chill next to the fire and cook your food, whatnot, whatnot. And of course, the last little detail, we have wood. Like I said, this is just a cozy little base and you really do feel like safe in here, which is so cool. Alrighty guys, we're going to get some rest and um, I'll see you guys in the morning. Hopefully nothing crazy happens. Alright. And we could not sleep. Enemies are nearby. It is not safe. Yeah, definitely not um, scary at all. I definitely would love to go outside. Wouldn't you guys want to go outside? Let's see what we're dealing with here. Alright. It looks like a lot. Like, that is actually a lot of cannibals. Or mutants. I like how it says it's not safe. Yeah, no. Holy! Oh my goodness. I can't even shoot them. They're at such like a weird area. Our angle. Where's Virginia when you need her? Far? Alright, we got one. Is he really gonna take three bullets? Alright. Alrighty, I'm going to jump down and um, we're going to fight him. Alrighty, looks like there was only a couple, which is awesome. Alrighty, guys, thank you for staying the night with me. I definitely appreciate it. And if you guys want to see more Sons of the Forest, just let me know. And I am your guy. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys all next time.